Welcome. Launching the QC Companion software plugin displays a full color menu screen, from which you can choose to create and manage manual test scripts or create and edit automated software tests. In this example, we will select manual testing. We are then presented with a full color home screen with various functions for locally creating, editing, and managing manual test scripts that we can ultimately sync and upload into HPALM. We will now click the Enter Test Area icon. The test area is the main hub for scripting activity. It's a local workspace to create, manage, edit, and dry run draft test scripts and data sheets prior to syncing the content to HPALM. With QC Companion, all scripts are system based or project based, and one of the efficiencies in using the QC Companion is the ability to set up a script template for a given project prior to any scripting beginning. By clicking the Set Template icon and creating a new template, we can populate a script template for this project. In this example, we will name our script template, and thus, also the project, authoring software. The script template allows us to automatically pre-populate project metadata, fields, and also, the ability to hard-code the first few steps of the manual test scripts. When we are done creating our script template, we can close out of the script template screen so that we can now create our first test script. To create a test script, we click the create icon, give it a name, and assign it to the authoring software project. By doing this, it will automatically find the associated script template of the same name. We can now save the script, and return back to the home screen. So now, upon going to the test area, and selecting our script, we can see that, 1. All of the metadata is pre-populated with starter content as per the script template. 2. We can see that the QC Companion also scans a target file share for a document containing software requirements to be tested and automatically displays the specifications on the screen via a widget. At this point, we simply finish up the starter content, and then, we can add specifications to be tested by easily dragging and dropping them to the objectives field. Amazingly, the act of adding these specifications to the objectives, is automatically building a trace matrix document in the background, that can be exported, printed, or saved at any time. At this point, we click the save button, and the setup of our script is complete, and we can now start creating testing steps. Beginning, we can see that because we assigned the script template, we see that the first three steps are automatically written for us. This alleviates some of the anxiety of scripting and basically gives everyone a rolling start with creating test steps for a given project. Also, pay attention to how for a given step, the datasheet entries are viewable right from within the same window. The interface will either expand or shrink to reveal or hide datasheet content depending on how the step is written. The QC Companion is very strong at contextual string recognition and will automatically do certain things for the author depending on the strings of text it recognizes. For example, in step 2, it refers the user to a data sheet. If we remove this statement, it tells the QC Companion that this step does not need a data sheet entry, and it hides the fields and ignores them. And it all runs very smoothly and fast because we are operating locally. Adding requirements to a step is very slick as well. Just as when we were listing out the objectives, we can select from the requirements widget and click to add, drag, and drop, multi-select or use free text. But even better, if we happen to add a requirement to a step that is not listed in the script objectives, the QC companion is smart enough to recognize this and alert the author. So now, let's create an additional step and take a look at one of the other powerful ways the contextual string recognition abilities works to the author's advantage and saves time and ensures that all scripts conform to an authoring standard. In this example, let's create a step stating to refer to datasheet. Click the icon as per datasheet. And then lastly, we want to verify the following. The home screen closes. The publishing pane is displayed. The search widget is enabled. 
The QC companion is smart enough to auto-generate a suggested wording for the expected field by looking for certain types of statements in the description. So if we click the suggested expected icon, it will create this content for us and we can now simply add this content to our step and save. Another convenient functionality of the QC companion is the ability to save steps so that they can be recalled for use later, in any other HPALM script. So for example, if we click remember this step, we can give this content a short name and click OK. So now, from this point on, if any author needs to enter a step for enabling search widgets, instead of writing it from scratch or having their wording slightly differ from another author's, they simply click paste remembered step and it is automatically added to their script. A real benefit of this is you could have a situation where an SME puts together a list of agreed upon remembered steps for use on a project. Now, at this point, let's assume we are done with our script. We click back to scripts. But one of the things the QC companion first does whenever exiting a script, is auto-perform a quality check on it. In this case we see that a gap analysis for any elements that are not being tested revealed that this script is not yet ready for upload to HPALM because it is not testing all the requirements that it set out to test in the objectives. This is a huge time saver, as this is typically a manual process of perusing through a script or iterating through find and replace just to try to be sure you are testing each requirement in a step. In a typical script and manual process without QC companion, we measured it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to perform this action alone, and here, with QC companion, we have that information instantaneously. So let's now assume we have all the requirements being tested. We can now click the finalize script icon, so that the QC companion can format the script for HPALM, update the trace matrix and ready the script for dry running. At this point, we can now automatically generate the official datasheet by clicking on the datasheet icon. This will automatically take our script content, put it into an Excel datasheet format and automatically save it to the file share. Next. We can now generate the trace matrix by clicking the trace matrix icon. From the test plan window, we then select our project and then click trace matrix. It will automatically put the content onto a shared MS Word trace matrix file. Note, it is optional at this point, we could chose to dry run the script to test it out prior to upload to HPALM using the fully functional dry run module of the QC companion. Example, we will now assume that the script is ready for publishing to HPALM. From the home screen, we click the HPALM extract icon. Verify, that after a brief processing period, the Excel extract is automatically generated for upload into HPALM.